I'm curious to know what both of you think about the Occupy Wall Street protests, and if you agree with them. Second, uh, how much should these so-called one percenters be forced to pay? Because, uh, Mr. Aldis, you said something interesting, that everyone should be taxed equally. I agree. How can you justify that they shouldn't, and how much should they pay? Because if we are all equal, why do we not pay equal taxes? I may rephrase quickly. Uh, the first part of the question, your thoughts on the Occupy Wall Street. Um, and if you think there should be uh, an increase in the taxes on the so-called 1%, how much should that be, if any? Well, I'll, I'll jump on it first. I, I, the, the Occupy Wall Street and Tea Party movement are both born out of frustration with the political and economic systems in the country, and I'm frustrated too. A lot of people are frustrated. I'm not certain I see so much of the direction in the Occupy Wall Street movement, um, but, but it, perhaps it will develop. You know, I, I think it's certainly, and, and right, you see, it's not just our political system and our economic system. You know, they're, they're, we're, we're right now in the worst economic condition worldwide that we've been in since the Great Depression. Um, I, I listened to a thing on NPR a week or so ago um, that will Occupy Sydney people in Sydney, Australia, who basically were following the Occupy Wall Street model. So it's an interesting phenomenon. Um, I, I understand the frustration. I'm not sure of the direction. You know, in Virginia, and, and I'm not prepared to talk about what the federal taxes should be. I'm, I, I focus up, I've been involved in the state government of Virginia for 20 years, and that, that, that's where my concern is. In Virginia, we, we essentially have a flat tax. The first $3,000, you pay 2%. Then the next $2,000, you pay 3%. Um, over $5,000, you pay 5%. And over $17,000, you pay 5 and 3 quarters. It's basically flat. So, you know, that, that's it's not very progressive. If, if you're interested in a progressive system, um, that it, it, it doesn't meet, meet the definition, I don't think, too much of a progressive system. It's mostly flat tax in Virginia. How much should they, at the federal level, the, you know, they, there's a problem at the federal level economically, I guess, financially. At the federal level, I'm concerned about the expense and the debt, the federal expense, the federal debt, and they've got serious problems with Democrats and Republicans, but down the road, you, you're going to have just as big a financial problem among the 50 states and among the, the federal government, or among the local governments. Like, you know, there was a thing in, in the New York Times just yesterday about New Jersey, about Rhode Island, Rhode Island's retirement systems for public employees going belly up. City of Harrisburg, Pennsylvania has filed for bankruptcy. You know, Virginia balances its budget every year, but we've done it the last two years with Governor McDonald using a few gimmicks. Um, we borrowed $620 million, $640 million from our retire stream of funding for the retirement system. We've got $17 billion unfunded liability at the retirement system. We passed on, un we passed on more obligations to localities. For example, we passed on responsibility for paying for um, benefits for um, firemen and police officers who are killed in the line of duty to localities. And we've taken hundreds of millions of dollars in stimulus funding from the federal government money that's not going not to be there after this year. It's going to be gone. So we, we, there are huge problems, and I, I, I'd say that's going to fuel even more Occupy Wall Street type movements. With, with respect to the first part of the question, I think that, as I said at the beginning, everybody has an opportunity to express their feelings, and, and that's what makes this country great, the fact that they want to uh, get out there and protest the things that they think are uh, important. I think it's wonderful. I don't agree with the, all the things that they want to accomplish, and I'm not sure everybody understands what it is they want to accomplish. Uh, it's not necessarily clear, but from the few items that you hear in the news, uh, I, I, I think that they are um, overreaching in terms of uh, placing blame on certain segments of society that, that in some cases do deserve and in some cases don't. Um, and I think that there is a, in terms of business, I think there is a moral component that we each have to make sure that we use our businesses to help others. Um, but I don't think the government has that responsibility to, to the same extent that we as individuals have that responsibility. It's an individual responsibility to help one another and to lift and strengthen and love and care for one another. That's what's important. <coughs> On the second question, as far as what should the 1% pay, it's really a federal, as Mr. Deed said, that's really a federal issue. Um, because in, in, in the, here we don't have a, a 1%. Most of the people, in fact, pay the 5.75% because you're, you're looking at that around $17,000. Uh, 
And that's part of the issue is there hasn't been any, any type of cost of living increase. The personal exemption was $800 for many, many years, and now it's $900. It hasn't changed much. In fact, the only thing that is, that is um, adjusted for cost, cost of index uh, inflation is Mr. D's tax credit for conservation easements. That's the only thing in the entire code that's adjusted. So, you know, it's interesting that we have one thing that, again, we don't consider the poor. We don't consider those who are struggling. We don't consider the needs of the, the average person in terms of how we tax people. And again, you go back to the regressive tax system. We're talking, we talk about the income tax, but we have the sales tax, we have the, all the other taxes, and the tax policy institutes will tell you that the average Virginian pays 9%, not 5.75%, but 9% of their income in taxes. So if, if, if we could reduce that burden, on the average family, that would reduce the burden on everybody, the rich and the poor, and that's what I would like to see. 